Hey man, you look like you use a cone. Rough day? You could say so. You knew it wouldn't be easy. I never knew it was going to be this hard. Even if you did, you'd still be here. You were meant to be a cop. You have a gift. I lost it. You can't lose it! But I did. He got away. But not for long. He's halfway to Finland by now. Finland is a hell I can't even imagine. Worse than prison? Worse than anything. I hope you're right. I'm half left. Walk with me, Ricky. This is the first time I've seen you all day. Partners don't work like that. I know. That's my fault. I know. Thanks for the cream. No problem. I always have a stash in my car. Really? Yeah. How much cream were you talking? Several kilos. Do people actually measure ice cream in kilos? Europeans, probably. That's interesting. Do you have like a freezer or something? No. I just make it a habit to park in the shade. That's a good habit to get into. Yeah. It has a lot of... What's up? You got a litter. So? That's a crime. I can't just watch a crime and not do anything about it. Well, I mean I promised myself I wouldn't be a dirty cop. I promised my moms. Sir, pick up your trash, please. No! Who are you? I'm an officer of the law. I'm asking you to pick up that trash. You don't look like a cop. I'm not gonna ask you again. Pick up that trash. Should've left it alone, man. Jamal! Jamal! Ricky. Jamal. Tell my wife. I'll tell her whatever you want. Tell her I've always loved you more than her. I don't, I don't think I can tell her that. J Jamal! Jamal! I'll avenge you. Why'd you do it? I didn't see a trash can and my hands were sticky. I didn't mean to litter it. Well then what did you mean? You murdered my partner. My muse. My Jamal. No, I shot him. That kills people. I was unaware. I'm really the victim here. What? How? You put a spoon in my face. That's police brutality. I'll show you police brutality. <laughs> Stop it! What? You don't like ice cream? No! Everybody loves ice cream. Especially Jamal. Was Jamal fat? No, he was perfect. His body was a 10. Looks like a suicide to me. I quit. Well then get out of my office. Hey, uh, Chief, we got a report about a dead body on Metcalf Boulevard. Over. Clemens! Get in here! What's up, Chief? Dead body. You're on the case, Clemens. I've been waiting my whole life. You're no longer a janitor. You're this town's newest boy in blue. <laughs> oh, where's the badge with honor? Quit being sentimental and get out of here, private. Sir. Hey! I need to borrow your car to do cop stuff. Everything on this earth is merely borrowed.
these keys are not only the keys to this car, but also the keys to finding yourself. That is clear to me. Make haste. Hey, I quit the force. You what? Who is this? That's right, I don't have anyone in my life. Afternoon, Ricky. I'm sorry. Your husband, Jamal, he, he's dead. Oh, he's been dead to me for years. Hey, Clemens, you see that duke I left for you? That's not my job anymore. What are you here for, then? I'm solving this case. And call me Sir. Sir Sergeant January Clemens. You're full of Duke. I'm full of justice. Now step aside. This looks like a suicide. Damn. First day as lieutenant and this is what I get. I was thinking the same thing. Well, maybe a suicide is just too convenient. This ice cream was ingested involuntarily. What are you saying? I'm saying we got a killer on our hands. I'll call the chief. Save your minutes, rookie. <sighs> Dead body. Quarter mile away, north by northwest. Really? I'll check it out. I made you proud, Mom. This is Chief. Jamal is dead. What? Jamal's body was found a short distance away from the other body on Metcalf Boulevard. Jamal was shot several times. The other body was covered in ice cream. Clemens seems to think it was a murder. What else does Clemens say? He's not saying much, but he thinks the murders are connected. Jamal may be no longer with us, but there is still a lot of Jamal in this world. I don't know. Is it your mind, or is it your heart that is unsure? Quick hands! This is Martel. He understands me. He will soon understand himself as he believes me to understand him. I don't care who you are. Get out of here. I will be here in spirit, nonetheless. Is my physical presence of any significance? <sighs> Shut your hippie mouth. Ricky, you mind telling me what happened with Jamal? He's dead. I know. They found his body. Along with another body. Are you here to arrest me? No. I'm here as a courtesy. My new detective is sharp. He'll figure you out. You have to run away. Maybe I deserve prison. The mind is already the sturdiest prison that a man can create. The cerebral cortex is stronger than the walls of Alcatraz. You did what you had to do. You don't deserve prison. I'll turn a blind eye for a friend. Just be careful out there. I will. Thanks, Chief. Call me Pop Pop. <sighs> Clearly you can no longer reside here. No, I guess not. I think I know a place where your soul can heal. You still have the keys? Yeah. Good. Then I'll let you take the wheel, both as a metaphor for taking control of your life and also because I'm rather hammered. Now, place your right foot on the gas and your heart on the path of righteousness. Oh, and also your left foot on the clutch. This is a manual after all.
Let that guy go. We've got bigger fish to fry. You're right, McGuire. We have a widow afoot. Hello. Pleasant day we're having. Ma'am, I don't know how to break this to you, but I'm Chief Clemens of this greater tri-state area. And your husband's been murdered. I know. Thank goodness. Wait, wait, what? No, I'm confused. Wait, you, you know? You, you're happy? Yeah, Ricky just told me. Well, do you have any idea where he may be? I don't know. Ask Jamal. Oh, wait! My God. She wasn't helpful at all. No, she was. It's all clear to me now. The stiff we found killed Jamal, and in turn was killed by Ricky Quickhands out of revenge. Wow, you're right. How are we going to find Ricky? He could be anywhere. We must consult the sea troll. The sea troll? The sea troll. Ah, we have reached our destination. Pull over so that we may begin to cleanse your soul. Man, this countryside sure is delightful. Just like this hearty glass of Ovaltine. Would you like some? Mmm, seems like a strange request. But I'm not one to turn down chocolate milk powder. The Ovaltine. It was drugged. It always is. What are you doing to me? Sacrificing you to Kevin Bacon. This right here is Kevin Bacon. He is my lord and savior, and he requires the blood of the innocent. Why? Because bacon is the single greatest thing in this world. Both the meat product and the critically acclaimed star of Apollo 13. I still don't understand why it requires the blood of the innocent. And I wouldn't really call him the star, more of a co-star. Shh. You'll be with Kevin soon. Stranger, I was just looking for some Tylenol. I got this splitting headache. I I just killed you. Well, I'd certainly hope not. I just stomped your face in over there. No, man, I was just taking a leak. My bladder was plump with urine. I mean, sorry to disappoint, I guess. Huh. I guess I just imagined it. You know what, pal? I think you're suffering from dehydration. Here, how about a hearty glass of Ovaltine? Thanks. I guess I am quite thirsty. Ah. Oh good. You're awake. If it's anything the bacon loves, it's a conscious sacrifice. Ah, oh, not this time. Fancy seeing you around these parts. Ah, boy, he's splitting headaches. Get away from me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clearly you're having withdrawals from the delicious taste of old. Confused, sir. This looks like somebody's house. Skepticism 
is a necessary trait for the Force. Where did you learn to do that? There are some things that books just can't teach you. Whoa! Who has awakened the sea troll? I'm Admiral January Clemens, and this is my forensics expert, Cecil. How do you do? We are in desperate need of your help, Mr. Sea Troll. I will grant you a wish. Wait, he, he grants wishes? We would be honored. Speak! I wish for me and Cecil to be transported to Ricky Quickhands with your troll magic. Where be this Ricky Quickhands? We don't know. Well, then you wish for me to find him? That too, if it pleases your trolliness. Then that is two wishes! Kind sea troll, I request one wish as well. What are you doing? I know what I must do. <laughs> Present your offering to the sea troll! I have a dollar. <laughs> the sea troll accepts! <laughs> Let's do this. Gee whiz. What is up with all these migraines? Why won't you die? I've got a visual on the suspect. Stand down, quick hands. Put down the gun. January, you gotta help me. This guy's trying to kill me. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. Cecil, keep an eye on Ricky and make a call into HQ. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. Cecil, you gotta help me. Sorry, Ricky, but no one is above the law. I understand, but this man, is gonna kill us all. Hey, you guys thirsty? Sure, I could go for some chocolate milk. No! This is an embarrassing day for justice. Kevin Bacon will be bathing in blood tonight. Ricky, would you be so kind to explain what's going on? He's making blood sacrifices to Kevin Bacon. That's unfortunate. Clemens, I can't get out! I can't get out! <clears throat> I'm afraid that the beast that is January Clemens has finally been subdued. Been working so hard. I'm punching my card. What's that sound? Oh, eight hours for what? Oh, tell me what I got. I got this feeling that times are holding me down. I'll hit this ceiling or else I'll tear up this town. I can't do it. I can't kill him. Kevin Bacon loves his fans. You really mean it, Martel? I'm gonna cut you loose. January, not like this. I'm sorry, Ricky, I respect you, but I love justice. You may continue to aim your gun at me, but that will only end in your untimely demise. You're a pretty good shot, but so am I. It appears that January has come to an end. I wonder what February holds in store. <laughs>